What is up you guys? Brooke here. Oh my gosh, it has been three years to this date that I have been on AuthorTube and I can't freaking believe it. Three years ago, I had no writing community. I was friends with no writers and I was super, super scared to post my first video. Uh, three years ago, I had wanted to post a video in August because I had recorded one and had edited one, but I was really scared to put myself out there in this author tube community that was so foreign to me. But finally, I took that leap and I jumped into the world of YouTube slash author tube and I posted a video. And that's what began my adventure with you guys here um, of talking about writing, telling you all the types of things I'm writing about. And it's just been a wonderful journey that I wouldn't change for anything. And because it's my celebratory day, I decided to, you know, go over some cool author tubery things with you guys, um, which is going to be the author tube oldie tag because I'm an old timer around these parts here. I am part of the elderly of author tube and there have been quite some changes ever since I posted that first video. And that's because everyone's writing style or writing routine or writing ways change over time. And let's go over the things that have changed for me over time since I started my channel. But real quick before we get started, I wanted to remind you all that if you're watching this video the day that it was posted, tonight at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time is the time that I go live on my channel with a live stream filled with writing sprints that I will be doing for five or four, five or four hours because I'm celebrating, once again, I'm talking about today, my three year anniversary on AuthorTube. So be sure to stick around later tonight and hang out with me and lots of other lovely people as we write books together for hours on end. And because I'm doing the AuthorTube oldie tag, it is time to pull up the original creator of the tag, which is Lindsay Puckett, y'all. Yeah, let's bring Lindsay over here. Okay, so here's Lindsay. So what's question number one? Question number one, how long have you had your AuthorTube channel? <laughs> I started my author tube. Well, I could answer this really easy because I have already talked about this. I have been on AuthorTube for three freaking years. Three awesome years. What am I doing with my hand? Ready, set. Number two, what aspect of writing have you improved since joining AuthorTube? Uh, Ooh, what aspect of writing have I improved since joining AuthorTube? Well, I feel like I actually know more of the structural game plan that novels are supposed to have. Um, before AuthorTube, I just thought writing a book was cool and awesome and I wanted to do it. And I had published a book way back when, whenever I was like 20 or 21, and um, whenever I had published that, once again, I had no idea what I was doing or how to really write a book. I mean, I wrote that book. I was so, 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 so proud of that book because I did accomplish it. And oh my gosh, I think it was close to like over 150,000 words. Uh. By the way, let me know if I should like talk about that first book that I had ever published with you guys. Cause I am curious if that's something you would want to hear about, even though it sucked. <laughs> but whenever I did publish that book, no matter how proud I was of that book, it didn't really have a good structure type of storyline. It just was kind of me wanting to write certain things and I would write those things that came to my head. And I didn't really uh, have an arc for characters. I had an arc for my main person, but it wasn't in the arc that they're supposed to have. I don't know, it was more so, uh, I don't know, it was just a mess. Ever since joining AuthorTube, um, being a part of the community, I had been hearing of certain uh, writing craft books that I found really, really um, enjoyable and also helpful for coming up with good story stuff. My favorites right now are Save the Cat Writes a Novel is by Jessica Brody and Creating Story Arcs, I think that's the name of the book, I'm pretty sure, is by K.M. Wyland or Wayland, however you pronounce her name. Those really were just such eye openers on like how to freaking do this. <laughs> Number three, push the button. For you. 
what are your biggest writing accomplishments since starting your channel? Well, I will say that I was so shocked whenever I won NaNoWriMo back in 2018. Um, I'm still am very, very shocked because there for a bit I had kind of quit and given up. And then somehow near the very end of it, I just was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I did. And I won. I had never written that much before in a month, like ever. And I do feel like if it wasn't for YouTube that I wouldn't have kept going. Because even though sometimes there is a pressure of knowing that people are like wanting to see where you're at with your book writing and stuff, there is that pressure of going, oh my gosh, I have to like keep going to show people that I'm like accomplishing something. Even though there's that pressure, it is also good pressure to keep me going. I feel like, yeah, for sure, NaNoWriMo is my biggest accomplishment so far with writing um, during AuthorTube. And so here's looking towards future accomplishments to come. This is my shot glass. Cheers. Question four. Five. If you plan to publish. Is it four or five? Much easier when I do all of that work in the beginning. Question five. If you plan to publish. Did I skip a goal? I don't know. Wow. I skipped a question. So yeah, I'm just going to start reading them from now on because it's kind of hard to keep up with it all. So question four, I'm on question four, I promise. Has your drafting style, plotter, pantser, planter, evolved since you began your channel? Well, yes it has. I used to have um, all of the planter, pantser vibes going on with my channel. I started out doing my AuthorTube channel thinking all of you outliners were crazy for doing that because it took all the fun out of writing and Part of me slightly, slightly still kinda agrees with that. But, oh my gosh, you're able to so much more be able to really narrow in on your book and all of the arcs and the storylines so much better whenever you outline. I have fully become now an outliner. Question number five. Now we're on to five, okay? If you plan to publish, has your publishing path goals, trad, indie, hybrid, changed since joining? No, not really. Um, I had joined AuthorTube thinking that I would just do self-publishing. Um, so I had never really changed um, what goal I had in mind, but I will say that now that I know more about self-publishing, because before I started doing AuthorTube, I didn't know um, all of the ins and outs of indie publishing, which I still don't. I don't. <laughs> but I do know more to it. Um, I do uh, feel like I have more of an idea of how the system works, of how people work with that system. And, and I hope that I will eventually get a book out to you guys. One day, one day it will happen. I promise you will read a book of mine if you want to. You don't have to buy it. But I promise you will be able to access it at some point. Ooh, question number six is, uh, let me reread it. Uh, what is something writing or channel related you've learned the hard way. Um, I recently talked about this in a recent video of mine where um, I talked about how I was no longer going to be publishing my book Project New Orleans and that was because um, whenever I had first started writing that book I had purely thought of it in a much more how do I explain this? I, I only had written I was only writing this in a way where it was just me involved and I wasn't thinking of what other people's thoughts and interpretations would be of my story. I was writing it with the door closed. I had not yet opened that door, if that makes sense. I think Stephen King says something like that, where you first write the book with the door closed, and then the second time, the second draft that you're writing it, then you are opening that door to know that you're going to be considering more of uh, what you're wanting to do to please your readers rather than only pleasing yourself. So even though I do agree with Stephen King that it's good to write with the door closed whenever you're first writing your book, you really have to consider what the outside world outside of your little writing nook is going to think of your book. And now I've learned to consider more people and their perspectives on life rather than just my only perspective on life. I hope this makes sense. I really hope it does. The, the main point is, yes, write with the door closed, but make sure that you do keep an open mind of what the world will think of your book whenever you are starting to write it.
So question number seven is, in what way has AuthorTube changed since you've started your channel? So whenever I started my channel, it was definitely a lot smaller, um, or the AuthorTube was definitely a lot smaller. Um, we had a lot more of uh, writing tutorials back then, and we still do. We have lots of writing tutorial stuff nowadays as well. Writing vlogs and writing tags were like the thing to do, I remembered, especially writing tags. But yeah, AuthorTube was just a lot smaller back then, and it's definitely changed so much now. Um, live streams weren't really a thing whenever I had started on AuthorTube, but like people, what are you doing? She is chewing on stuff. I remember um, live streams, they did happen, but they were not at all done like how to the extent we are doing live streams nowadays with the Writing Sprints live streams. Um, those are really, really huge right now. And that is A-OK -okay with me because I'm all about the Writing Sprint live streams for people. Number eight, what is something that frustrates you about AuthorTube? If I wanted to skip a week of uh, putting out a video, I feel really, really guilty by doing that because usually I will skip posting that week because I had wanted to focus on writing more. But then whenever I don't post that week, then I see other people who are author tubers who are posting, who did get lots of views, and it makes me go, well, gosh dang it, I probably should have done something last week. I should have I should have done something of some kind. And, and sometimes I'll make a video knowing I should have been writing a lot more that week and I didn't and that's frustrating too. I do feel like more this year I have had more balance for sure. There is balance much much more now but there is still more of a learning curve that I could learn more over time with that. So question number nine, what is your hope for the future of AuthorTube? My hope for AuthorTube is for more growth within the community, whether that be with me and my goals of wanting to just grow my channel or uh, just have more people in the community grow in numbers as well. Cause it's so rewarding to see people do awesome um, whenever they are just kicking butt at AuthorTube and to see them on their journey from writing and starting this book to its completion with publication as well. So seeing everything play out is awesome and just growth overall. I don't, I don't know. I, I just like to see the community getting bigger and bigger and um, I just hope it continues to do that. And question number 10, share some oldie wisdom for newbie author tubers. If you're wanting to be an author tuber, you're gonna have to make buddies who are also author tubers. And a great place to start out is by attending live streams that people are hosting. You can make friends there. And um, that's also benefiting you because during these live streams where there's writing sprints, you're able to write. And lots of the times you make connections during those live streams. So that has been great for people to find new writing buddies that way. And commenting on people's videos is so helpful. The more you are putting yourself out there, the more you're trying to make these connections, the more you're going to grow. The people who I feel like don't end up growing so much on AuthorTube is whenever you're staying in your own little bubble. So that's what I'd recommend, just kind of being a social butterfly around the interwebs of AuthorTube. That's going to be your best bet of getting going in the community, at least to me, I think so. But all right, that was it. That was the AuthorTube oldie tag. This has been so good to just kind of look over some AuthorTuber stuff. Um, how many times have I said AuthorTuber in this video? I'm sorry if it's a lot. Let me know how long you've been on AuthorTube, if you've been on AuthorTube, or just let me know if you relate to any of these things that we had gone over today. I hope to see you all tonight for my celebratory five hour, or I hope it's five hours. It should be like four or five hours, but my five hour writing sprint live stream tonight. It's going to be awesome. That starts at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time once again. If you all liked this video, you can feel free to give me a big thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And also don't forget to subscribe because I post writing related content every week here. And thank you all so much for stopping by today and may the words be with you. Bye!